Today we are going to go back and review ones and tens place. When I write a number like 64, it's telling me that there's a 4 in the ones place and a 6 in the tens place. If I were going to draw this number using ones cubes and a tens long, I would have four ones cubes and six tens longs. Three, four, five, six. I just wrote the number 64 using ones cubes and six long rods. If I have the number 47, the 7 is in the ones place. So I would have 7 ones cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 4 is in what we call the tens place. So I'd have 4 longs, 4 tens. I represented the number 47 using tens longs and ones cubes. If I had this, I could count and say I have one, two, three tens long. So I'm going to put a three in the ten. And there are one, two, three ones. I have the number 33. I could also count and say this is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. What number is represented here? Well, let's check it out. Well, I have one, two, three, four tens, and one, two, three, four. Five ones. I have the number 45. I could count it 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Great job. What number is represented here? You need to pause the video to count. Go ahead. All right, did you count it up? Well, let's count the ones first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ones. Eleven ones. What do you remember? Could I have 11 in the ones place? Nope, I can't. So I need to get rid of those 11 ones. Do you remember what I can do instead? Did you say trade them in for a tens rod? You're right. Let's trade in 10 ones cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's trade those tens in for one tens long. Now that I've traded that in, now I'm ready to count. Well, I have one one left. So I'll put my one here. And let's count up how many tens longs we have. One, two, three. Don't forget the one we traded in. Four. Forty-one. How about this? Pause the video. Count up. What number am I representing here? Well, let's take a look. I have zero ones cubes. Don't see any there. I have zero of them. Let's count the tens longs. I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six tens long. So I'm going to put a six in the tens place. The number that's represented here is 60. Great job. Now, what I would like you to do on your whiteboard is using tens longs and ones cubes, will you represent the number 34? Pause the video. Use your tens longs and ones cubes to represent the number 34. All right, do you have it written down? The way to write 34 using tens longs and ones cubes. I have four ones, one, two, three, four ones. Remember we said you could use a dot or draw the little square. And I need three tens longs, one, two, three. And for the tens longs, I could draw the long lines or actually turn it into a rod. Either way works as long as I can tell that this is a tens long and that these are ones. So I have one, two, three tens and one, two, three, four ones. I've represented the number 34. How did yours look? Let's try another one. Let's get rid of this. The next number I'd like you to represent using tens longs and ones cubes is the number 47. Pause the video, use your whiteboard, and show me the number 47. All right, let's take a look. We need seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need four tens. One, two, three, four. I've just represented the number 47. One more. Let's get rid of this. And this time, let's do the number 80. Pause the video. Use your whiteboard to represent the number 80 using tens longs and ones cubes. All right, let's take a look. Well, in the ones place, I had zero, so zero ones. In the tens place, there's an eight, so I need eight tens longs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just represented the number. 80. All right. Will you write these numbers on your whiteboard? You can pause the video to give yourself time to write them. Write the number 54, 79, 10, 9, 132, and 397. Once you've written these numbers, then will you go back and will you underline the digit that's in the ones place. So pause your video, write the numbers down, then underline the digit that's in the ones place. All right, let's see how you did. The number 54. The four is in the ones place. The number 79. The nine is in the ones place. For the number 10, the 0 is in the 1's place. For number 9, the 9 is in the 1's place. For the number 132, you're right, the 2 is in the 1's place. And the number 397, the 7 is in the 1's place. How'd you do? Did you remember where the 1's place was? All right, clear off your whiteboard. Write these numbers on your cleared off board. 54, 132, 98, 42, 153, 90. 
once you have those written on your board, this time you're going to underline the digit in the tens place. Pause your video, write down the numbers, then underline the digit in the tens place. Let's see how you did. The number 54, the 5, is in the tens place. 132, the 3 is in the tens place. The number 98, the 9 is in the tens place. For the number 42, the 4 is in the tens place. 153, the 5 is in the tens place. And the last one, 90, you got it. The nine is in the tens place. How'd you do? Great job. You can stop the video, grab the practice sheet, and hand it in when you're done.